kiss me. I'll kiss you. Oh, oh, please, darling. You're beautiful. I love you. Kiss, 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 kiss. I kiss. You're a bully. And you're a fool. Where are you going? To get my fool's cap and staff. Now I'm handsome. Kiss me, Tigress. No. I'll tame you. Oh. I'll tame you. Oh. I'll tame you. Oh, you're wonderful. <laughs> Now, good sir. Ah, oh, good Hortensio. <laughs> Neighbor, Grimio. Now, good sir. Senor, I would you know I love Bianca more than words can witness. Or your thoughts can get. Infortune me no farther. For how I firmly and resolved you know. That is, not to bestow my youngest daughter before I have a husband for Catherine. Well now. If either of you both love Catherine. Ah! I may again woo fair Bianca, I must labor to effect one thing specially. What's that, I think? To get a husband for Catherine, her sister. A husband? <laughs> a devil? Thinkest 
Now, Hortensio, though her father be very rich, any man is so very a fool to be married to hell. <laughs> Touch, Gremio. Oh, oh. Do it past your patience and mine to endure her loud alarms. Why, man, there be good fellows in the world with faults and money enough. young men throughout the world to seek their fortune. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah. Antonio, my father, is deceased. So I have come abroad to see the world, happily to wed and thrive as best I may. Ah, there you are. Patricio. I? Didst thou say wed? I wed. Continue what I broached in jest. I can, Petruchio, help thee to a wife with wealth enough and young <laughs> and beauteous. Her name is Catherine Manola. Oh. Yes, yes. Catherine? Manola? I? Oh. Wherefore, well, Romeo? Cursed and shrewd. That were my state. Even worse than it is. I wouldn't marry her for a mine of gold. Well, then thou knowest not the effect of gold. I'll have her, though she chide as loud as thunder when the clouds in autumn crack. Tell me her father's name, and tis enough. Her father is Baptista Manola, an affable and courteous gentleman. Baptista. Baptista Manola. I know her father, yet I know not her. He knew my deceased father well. Come, I will not sleep until I see her. Tell it, Petruchio. I will go with thee. For in Baptista's keep, my treasure is. His youngest daughter, beautiful Bianca. Oh, this order hath Baptista given. The good Hortensio cannot wed the younger daughter till Catherine, the elder, have a husband. Therefore shall you do me grace and offer me to old Baptista, disguised as a... As a schoolmaster. Well versed in music. To instruct his daughter. I may make love to fair Bianca. <laughs> and all unsuspected caught her by herself. <laughs> so sad, so down. Tis well. How? Master, you would woo this Catherine? Aye. Uh, and marry her? I know that she can act some brawling skull. If that be all, I hear no harm. You would not wed this wild cat. Why came I hither but to that intent? Thanks thou a little din can daunt mine ears. 
Have I not in my time heard lions roar? Have I not heard the sea popped up with winds, rage like an angry boar chased with sweat? Have I not heard great ordnance in the field? and heaven's artillery thunder in the skies. Have I not in pitched battle heard loud larums, neighing steeds, and trumpet clang? And you tell me of a woman's tongue. <laughs> a woman's tongue. <laughs> A woman's tongue. A woman's tongue. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> A woman's tongue. <laughs> I pray you that you will make me a lot of seed, mate. My kids are going to tell me your novel with a three-legged stool and paint your face and use you like a fool. What? Shall I be appointed ours? As though for life I knew not what to take and what to leave? Bah! She is your treasure. She must have a husband. I must dance barefoot on her wedding day and pour your love to her and lead apes in hell. Talk yes. not to me. I'll find revenge. But, Catherine. Oh, you may go to the devil's den. How oh, was ever a gentleman thus grieved as I? Ah, good sir, pray, tell me, have you not a daughter called Catherine, fair and virtuous? Have you not a daughter called Catherine, fair and virtuous? I, I have a daughter, sir, called Catherine. Ah. Thou art blunt, go to it orderly. You wrong me, Signor Bruno, and leave. I am a gentleman of Verona, sir, that hearing of her beauty and her wit, her bashful modesty and mild behavior, and bold to show myself a guest within your house. You, you are welcome, sir. Uh, and what might be your name? Petruchio is my name. Antonio's son. A man well known throughout all of Italy. Antonio? Indeed, I knew him well. Bianca. Oh, Antonio. Well, I would present you with a man of mine. Signor. Uh, Licio, cunning in music and the mathematics to instruct your daughters in those sciences. Whereof I know they are not ignorant. But accept of him, or else you do me wrong. Signor. Signor Baptista. You. You would teach my daughter, Catherine? Aye, sir. God save you, sir. And sir, Bianca, too. Bianca, yes. Bianca. Lead this gentleman to your sister. What father? Uh, hmm. <laughs> uh, tell her, uh, tell her he is your tutor. You shall see your pupil presently. Pray bid her use him well. And now, sir, as to your daughter, Catherine. She is not for you, the more my grief. Oh, I see. Then you do not wish to part with her? Or else you like not my company. No, no, mistake me not. Uh, Signor Baptista, my business asketh haste, and every day I cannot come to woo. Tell me, with your daughter and my wife, what dowry shall I have? Dowry? I dowry. After my death, the one half of my lands and in possession, 20,000 crowns. 20,000 crowns. 20,000. 20,000. Twill do. Let agreement then be drawn between us. Ah, ah, but when first our love you have obtained. Love? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's nothing. I tell thee, Father, I am as peremptory as she is proud-minded. And when two raging fires meet, together they do consume the thing that feeds their fury. Yes, though little fire grows faint with little wind, yet extreme gusts will blow out fire and all. For I am rough and woo not like a babe. <laughs> Ah, 
Bertram. I. She is a lusty wench. Oh, I love her ten times more than ever I did. Oh, my friend, canst not break my daughter Catherine to the lute? Why, no. She has broke the lute to me. Good neighbor Grimio, do thou attend him. Oh, how I long to have a grapple with her. <laughs> For all of Padua, I would not have a grapple with her. Signor <laughs> <laughs> uh, Petruccio, do you still desire that I send my daughter Catherine to you? I pray you do. I will attend her. <laughs> What a wench! <laughs> Good morrow, Kate. Kate? Well, that's your name, I hear. You must be hard of hearing. They call me Catherine. Who do talk of me? You liar, Kate, for you are called plain Kate. my consolation. Have I not heard thy mildness praised in every town, thy virtue spoke of, and thy beauty sounded, yet not so deeply as belongs to thee? Oh, Kate! Oh! Look! Out on you! Out! I move to woo thee for my wife. <laughs> oh, come, come, you wasp. You are too angry. If I be waspish, best beware my sting. <laughs> oh, come, Kate, come. Why not be friends? Let me go. Let me go. You was told me that you were rough and sullen, but no, I find you passing gentle. Thou canst not frown nor look askance. 
Now bite thy lip as angry wenches will, for thou art pleasant, courteous, and sweet as springtime flowers. <laughs> that Kate doth live. Oh, slanderous world. Come, Kate, let me see you walk. Oh, good Kate. Your father has consented that you shall be my wife. And will you, nil you, I will marry you. Oh. For I am he that's born to tame you, Kate, and change you from a wild Kate to just plain household Kate. Thou art not cursed, but modest as the dove. Thou art not hot, but temperate as the morn. Uh, uh. Ah, good father. Thou see your Petruchio. How stupid, my daughter. Why, how but well, sir, how but well. <laughs> It were impossible that I should speed a miss. It is terrible to believe how much she loves me. She hung about my neck, and kiss on kiss she bides so fast, protesting her devotion, that in a twink she won me to her love. Oh. Well, now, my daughter. Call you me daughter? Now I promise you, you've shown a tender fatherly regard to wish me wed to one half lunatic, a madcap ruffian, and a swelling jack. Father, tis thus. Yourself and all the world have talked to miss of her. Father! And we've agreed so well together that Sunday is our wedding day. I'll see thee hanged on Sunday first. Come, give me your hand, Kate. Father, provide the feast and bid the guests. I, I know not what to say, but tis a match. Give me your hand. <laughs> oh! Go send you joy, Petruchio. house to prepare our coming. We'll have rings and things and fine array, for Sunday is our wedding day. Kate, father, adieu. <laughs> Good Catherine, sweet daughter. shall tame this haggard. For if she fails, I'll tie up her tongue and tear down her nails.
What mockery to want the bridegroom when the priest attends? What say you to this shame of ours? Oh. <laughs> no shame but mine. I told you he was a frantic fool. But can't I? Ah! I must pursue be forced to give my hand on to a madman. A wound in haste and means to wed at leisure. He would thousand to the day of marriage. Ha, 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 ha. Make friends. Invite. Proclaim the bands. Ha, ha, ha. Yet never means to wed where he hath wooed. Oh, now must the world point at poor Catherine and say, lo, there is that Petruchio's wife. If it would please him, come and marry her. Oh, would that I have never seen him. Oh. I, I cannot blame me not to weep. For such an injury would be sustained. Art is coming. Art is coming. Patrucio? I sir. Good. You! You! Patrucio is coming! Father. Ah, good Grelio. Methinks you frown. You, you know this is your wedding day. I? First we were sad, fearing you would not come. Now, sadder. Oh, why doth this have it? Shame to your estate. And I saw to our solemn festival. And tell us what occasion hath all so long detained you from your wife and sent you hither. Oh, so unlike yourself. Oh. Is it worth telling? Suffice that I have come to keep my word. But where is Kate? I stay too long from her. The morning wears. Come, tis time we were in church. Oh, Lucy. See not your bride in these unreverent robes. Go to my house. Put on clothes of mine. Not I, believe me. Thus, I'll see her. Oh, I trust you will not marry her. Good Sophie, not. That oh. should have done with words. To me she's married, not unto my clothes. Ah, oh, but what a fool am I to stay and chat with you. I must kiss my lovely Kate. Who she is? Baptista, the ceremony waits. Oh, get thee to the bride. <laughs>
come closer. Just a little. My dear friends, you are about to enter into a union that is most sacred and most serious. It is most sacred because it was established by God and most serious because it binds you together for life in a relationship so close and so intimate that it will profoundly influence your whole life. Bear in mind that you are pledged to share your successes and failures, your pleasures and pains, your joys and your sorrows. You know that these elements are mingled in every life and are to be expected in your own. And so, whatever has befallen you, take each other for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health. Will you then repeat these words that I quote you? It is a beautiful tribute to your devout faith in each other that, recognizing them fully for their import, you will nevertheless go willing and ready to pronounce them. And because these words involve such solemn obligation, it is most fitting then to possess the security of wedded life upon the great principle of happiness. Petruchio, wilt thou take Catherine here present for thy lawful wife? Aye, my God's wrong! Catherine, wilt thou take Petruchio here present for thy lawful husband? Now, Catherine and Petruchio, I join thee together in matrimony in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. to dine with me today and have prepared great store of wedding cheer. But my haste has called me hence, and therefore I must take my leave. Is it possible you must away at once? Aye, at once. And therefore, honest company, I thank you all that have beheld me give myself away to this most patient, sweet, and virtuous wife. 
dine with my father, drink a health to me, and so farewell to you all. Oh. Let me entreat you. Await the feast. It may not be. Let me entreat it you. It cannot be. Wait. Let me entreat you. Ah, I am content. <laughs> He is content to stay. Ah, I am content that you entreat me stay, and yet not stay. Entreat me how you can. <laughs> Grouillon, my horse, come, Kate. <laughs> I'll not go today. No? No, nor tomorrow, nor till I please myself. Oh, Kate, content thee, prithee, be not angry. I will be angry. What hast thou to do? Father, be quiet. He shall stay my leisure. Gentlemen, forward to the bridal feast. Huh, I see a woman may be made a fool if she hath not the spirit to resist. Then she'll go forward, Kate, at your command. Obey the bride, you that attend on her. Go to the feast, carouse and revel. Be mad and merry, or go hang yourself. Okay? As for my body, Kate, she must with me. Nay, look not so big, nor staff, nor stare, nor fret. I will be master of what is mine own. Oh. She is my goods, my chattels, my field, my barn, my horse, my ox, my anything. There she stands, such her, whoever dares. Oh. Romeo, draw forth thy weapon. I'll bring mine action on the proudest one that stops my way in Padua. Oh. We are beset with thieves. Rubio, rescue thy mistress if thou beest a man. Do not sweet wench, they shall not harm me. They shall take thy butler thee against the million. <laughs> Never was the light. <laughs> Being mad herself, she's madly made it. <laughs> I, I warrant him, Petruchio is Caden.
case, Groovy Hall. Prepare me dry apparel. Oh, ha, Kate. Uh, sit down and welcome. <laughs> To your seat, Petruchio. My boot, you rogue, you villain. Be merry, Kate. Be merry. Thank you. 
angst or else shall I. Thus have 
I politically begun my reign. And it is my hope to end successfully. Today she ate no meat, and tonight she shall not sleep. As with the meat, some fault I'll find about the making of the bed. Here I'll fling the pillow. There, the bolster. This way, the coverlet. Another way, the sheets. And amidst this early, I'll pretend that all is done in loving care of her. <laughs> and then, forsooth, she'll watch all night. And if she chance to nod, I'll rail and sing. And with my singing, keep her still awake. This is the way to kill a wife with kindness. And thus, I'll curb her mad and headstrong humor. Dost thou know better how to tame a shrew? <laughs> nay, good toilers, nay. Bright and goodly shines the sun. The sun? The moon? It is not sunlight now. Ah! I say it is the sun that shines so bright. I know it is the moon that shines so bright. Oh, evermore crossed. And crossed. Nothing but crossed. It shall be sun or star or what I will. Oh. It is the sun. Huh? Or if you please call it a... A candle. I vow it shall be so for me. Hey, then you lie. It is the blessed moon. Then God be blessed. It is the blessed moon. But moon it is not when you say it is not. For the sun changes even as your mind. What you will have it named, even that it is. And so it shall be for Catherine.
that have hurt lions roar in the rage of an angry sea. Yes, yes. Uh, oh. Come. Come. <laughs> the sun is shining bright. me, Kate. Drink! <laughs> <laughs> 